Hi, I was trying to say I'm gonna stop here and pick right back up <laughs> at um, 10, 11 weeks, but um, someone called and it cut my video off. So, um, so now I've gone in for the NIPT test and um, basically what that is, it's the, um, the like, you know, the, the newborn test where they uh, test they do the chromosome test and they do, it's like a blood test and they also do ultrasound. And so um, they can't do the nuchal test, I don't think until around 12 weeks um, or after 12 weeks. So I was early for that. So I couldn't, I couldn't do that test where they're checking. Um, the nuchal is uh, when they're, you know, checking like the fluid behind the neck. So um, so really we just did the blood test and we did another ultrasound everything looked great. And, uh, I got my results back at 11 weeks. I found out the gender. And so I decided, oh, geez, I'm going to tell you this story is crazy, but everything was fine. Uh, with the NIPT test, everything came back normal. And, um, I decided to surprise everybody and Eric was up in uh, Vancouver shooting um, a show that he's producing. And so I waited all week to tell him and I got a balloon made. And inside of the balloon, it was either supposed to be confetti or um, balloons of like blue or pink color, right? And so I was just gonna do this for my kids and for my husband, so and we videoed it. But what happened is that inside I was like, oh, that'd be cute. Like if it's balloons inside and then the balloons, you know, they can pop it and the balloons will come out the bottom and the kids can like play with the balloons because like confetti would just go everywhere and, you know, so I was like, oh, this will be cute. So I asked the lady on the phone, you know, is, are the balloons pink or are they um, blue? Like, do they have uh, helium in them? Like, how does that work? And and so she was like, no, no, so you, you'll pop it and the balloons will fall out the bottom. And I was like, perfect, so we can do it outside. So then everybody like gets excited, goes outside. I'm like surprising everyone, We're, you know, counting down. And then, um, you know, five, four, three, two, one, Eric pops it. We see the color. I'm not gonna tell you yet because we're not telling anybody yet. Um, but the kids are like, yay! And then the balloons all float away. And we're all like, ha! Ah! Because A, we know that that's horrible pollution um, and so not good for our ocean. So we were devastated. And then also, my kids were so sad because they wanted to play with the balloons. So they immediately were like, yay! Ah! You know, it's just like very disappointed. So I was like, great, that surprise was a failure. <laughs> <laughs> on so many levels. Um, they were very excited about the gender, but uh, yeah, that was, don't, don't do the blue one. Do the one with the confetti <laughs> or the powder. I don't know. I don't know what's best or maybe you just want to tell them, but I was trying to come up with a cute surprise because for, you know, if, when Esme, when I found out Esme's gender, I, um, or sex or whatever you want, however you want to say that. When I found out if she was a boy or a girl, I called a uh, florist and I had them do these like beautiful pink peony flowers. And I had them sent to Eric's trailer when he was on set. And um, with that and like pink balloons and stuff, I had them fill it up. And uh, on the card I wrote, um, I can't wait to meet you in August. Love Esme, because we already knew what we were gonna name her. So he was totally shocked and excited. I think it was a really sweet surprise. So this time did not go very well. <laughs> um, so then, then uh, that was around 11 weeks. And then, you know, we get to 12 weeks and I get to go back for um, the nuchal exam. And um, I was really excited, a little nervous, and um, this is when they're measuring the fluid behind the neck, and um, again, everything was normal, everything looked great. Um, at this point, I was still feeling really sick, and um, I gotta say, my nerves about everything have just kind of 
gone away, you know? I feel, um, I feel like I was able to sort of relax after about <laughs> nine weeks and just really focus on each day as it um, would come. And also understanding that this is a process and it's a miracle and um, I can't control it. I cannot control what's happening with my body. I just have to do the things that are healthy for me, but I can't control how my body is functioning or how this, you know, that this whole process is going to go. So, um, at some point I did feel myself let go and it was amazing. It felt so good to get to that place. And I think that just came through, you know, meditation, um, finding other things to focus on, not ignoring what was happening, but just being able to, um, sort of invest my time into something that I'm passionate about, like the music or writing. And, um, and then also, you know, just honoring every day, honoring my body and being thankful for how it's working and what it's doing and, um, paying attention to the little things that I'm feeling and acknowledging them. If I'm feeling nervous, it's okay. And, if I'm feeling excited, that's great. And if I'm feeling a little sad, that's okay too. Um, so now I am at, I just hit um, 15 weeks. And um, I went to, my last appointment was the 12 week appointment. And so I um, am scheduled for my second trimester screening and that will be my next video log. Okay, thank you so much.